Hello, my beautiful fire signs. Welcome to your element reading. This is the dream clairvoyant. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe, feeling blessed because you are. So this is like a channeled message reading, but it's specifically for fire signs. Okay. So if you have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your sun, moon, Venus, or rising, this message may resonate with you. Um, so let's get started. And if you're not sure what your birth chart consists of, I do have a link in the description box. It takes you to a website where all you have to do is simply put in your birth date information and you will get a free generated birth chart. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started. What's the message? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Message for fire signs. You have the chariot. Excellent. Let's pull out three cards. You have the Page of Pentacles. Oops. Message for Fire Sign. You have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm loving the energy that you're in, Fire Sign. Look at all the yellows. So the Chariot talks about forward movement. Um, it talks about someone who's actually moving away or moving forward victoriously. This is like your rags to riches, you know, kind of card here. Um, you have the page of pentacles. Um, so when I see the page of pentacles, it represents someone who is, um, I'm still trying to figure out like the word to use when it comes to describing the page of pentacles. It's almost like someone who is trying to bring about value and stability through the things that they do. So, I feel like you are looking for stability, you are looking for security, you are looking for valuable things. And whatever you do, it's almost like you're, um, it's like, okay, let's say you're working on something. You will make sure that whatever you're working on is valuable, that that there will be some sort of value that, that comes out of your hard work. Even when it comes to like connecting with people, you're looking for meaningful, valuable connections. Um, but you have, I hope that explains it right. That's sort of how I'm beginning to see the page of pentacles. Yes, pentacles are very valuable when it comes to earthly matters. And sometimes I even see the page of pentacles as like a financial offer, or if it's romantic, it, it could be an offer of a, of a commitment. It could be an offer that's going to bring a lot of stability and security in your life. Um, or it's just someone who's looking to, someone who's looking to bring about, um, um, value, stability, and security in the things that they do. You have the Queen of Pentacles that's here. So the Queen of Pentacles, it talks about someone who's very successful, you know, someone who's very loyal, very committed, very devoted. Um, Queen of Pentacles, you know, whatever they work on, they do their best to bring about uh, success, right? To, to acquire success through the things that they do. So let's look, let's clarify these cards. You have the chariot, clarify the chariot. Knights of cups, clarify the chariot. You have the devil. And you have the world. So the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups some, is someone who's very charming, friendly, uh, welcoming. Sometimes the Knight of Cups, it could even be someone who has a romantic gesture, but it's just someone who's very charming, friendly, and typically has some sort of you know gesture that they want to extend to someone. You have the Devil card that's here. The devil represents strong desires. Sometimes it could represent, represent obsessions, addictions, you know, possessiveness, toxicity. And then you have the world card here. The world card, it represents completion, okay? The ending, the closing out of a cycle, it could also represent getting positive results, getting your desirable outcome. Um, tell us more about this Knight of Cups. Have the nine of pentacles 
So the Knight of Pentacles, it talks about someone who's very successful, someone who's very well accomplished. I mean, it's one person who has acquired nine out of 10 pentacles. So you have a lot of success. I feel like you've accomplished a lot of your goals. So good for you, very proud of you. Um, I feel like, I feel like you are in this open and friendly um, energy here where you may be open to meeting some people as well. It doesn't have to be romantically, maybe just platonically. It's almost like with the Nine of Pentacles, you're feeling really good about yourself. You're not just looking good, but you're feeling good. You're feeling well accomplished. You're feeling successful. And I see that it has put you in a very good mood, especially here as this Knight of Cups. Everyone sees the Knight, when you're the Knight of Cups, people see you through rose tinted glasses, you know? People are very happy with you. Um, clarify the Devil card. You have the King of Cups. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Cups. Okay, what's this? Hmm. You've also... I feel like you've also released some sort of... Um, obsession that you had here maybe it was something or someone that you strongly desired like you really allowed I feel like in the past you really allowed someone to have a lot of control or influence over you maybe it could have been very maybe it could have been a very obsessive connection there's a king of cups energy here perhaps someone who you wanted romantically king of cups typically is like a male or masculine energy who has captured the heart of someone. So I do feel like you were in love or you were just like really, really, you know, romantically into someone and you were attached to them with the devil card here. Um, and I'm saying were because I feel like that was in the past. Um, I feel like with the eight of swords in the reverse, you let go of that person. You were carrying them around mentally even if you weren't physically with them they were attached to your mind and the eight of swords in the upright it talks about being in a mental prison you know being stuck on something or someone so in the reverse like this i see that you're no longer in that mental prison you you're no longer attached to this person romantically or mentally um I see here that now you're looking at your other options with the Seven of Cups, okay? You're looking at perhaps other uh, potential suitors. The Seven of Cups is someone who has options and they're, they're acknowledging that. You have the World card that's here. So sometimes the Seven of Cups, it could also represent just being in your head, you know, doing a lot of thinking and trying to make a decision. But I feel like in this case, you are no longer in your head about a person, a, a, a specific someone who I feel did have a hold on your heart. I feel like you have released them mentally and they're no longer in your head, okay? And even maybe for some of you, you do have other options that you're giving your attention to or you're, you're sort of looking at them, you know, as a potential suitor. Um, so let's look at the world, clarify the world. You have the five of swords. Page of wands and the five of pentacles. So the world represents, like I said, completion. Once you close out a cycle, you get to start a new chapter. Um, it is an ending of a cycle, an ending of a chapter, but it leads to positive results. It, it leads to a desirable outcome. Um, and I feel like that is what you did. I feel like you've ended a cycle with someone because even when we clarified the world, five of swords came out and the five of swords talks about surrendering, just giving up and walking away. So I do feel like that's how you close that chapter by walking away from, you know, that particular person or people. And I feel like with the page of pentacles, 
you did get some sort of idea here, some sort of striking idea. I see the page of wands. Yes, it could represent good news, a good idea. Um, I almost feel like something else grabbed your attention. When you walked away from this person, place, or thing, something else grabbed your attention. Maybe you even decided, maybe you even became very creative-minded, very innovative. Um and it's so interesting because with the five of pentacles here, uh, the five of pentacles, when you dropped those people or when you walked away from that person, they felt it. Like the this person feels completely ignored and abandoned by you. The five of pentacles is, a, is abandonment. It's feeling left out in the cold because I feel like you became intrigued by something else with this page of wands. Something new grabbed your attention. I don't know if it's a person if, if, if it's another person, place, or thing, or if it's just a creative idea that you got um, and you just decided to focus on that, but it definitely caused you to, to leave this past person, place, or thing behind. Um, yeah, they feel, they feel defensive. They feel abandoned and they're here as a king of wands. A king of wands... This person wants your attention. It's so clear. I can feel it. I can hear it. They want your attention. Um, they know that you have left them out in the cold. They know that something else has intrigued you. You know, they know that something else has your interest. Um, and I feel like they're becoming very defensive about it. Um, I feel like this person was obsessed with you as well in a way where they liked having your attention with the Page of Cups. Uh, they liked the fact that you admired them, okay? Um, the, the, the king of wands can sometimes be very self-centered. Um, they wanted to be the only person of your desire, right? The only person who had your attention and your focus. With the lover's card here, uh, the lovers represents soulmate connections it represents a choice they wanted you to choose them like over and over and over it made them feel special um they were getting their validation through your attention and the three of wands they felt like you would you would stay waiting on them forever the three of wands is waiting for your ships to sail in so I feel like your admiration for this person, it boosted their ego. They, they allowed it to get to their ego and they took advantage of you and they felt like you would choose them forever. So they didn't mind keeping you waiting. Okay. Um, wow. So let's look at this page of pentacles here. Okay. Clarify the page of pentacles. So you have the two of wands in the reverse. Clarify the page of pentacles. have the magician you have the three of pentacles so the two of wands is in the reverse the two of wands it talks typically in the upright it talks about someone who's trying to get a sense of direction trying to figure out a plan so when i see it in the reverse like this is someone who has put their their plans on pause um and they're not really moving forward yet. With the magician, you could be planning, you could be, you know, the magician is a manifester. The magician knows how to, you know, use, utilize their tools, their resources to get to bring their manifestations to life. So I do feel like with the two of wands here, especially clarifying the page of pentacles, maybe you do have some sort of idea, an idea that can that can bring about something very successful, something very valuable for you. But I feel like with the two of wands, you've put that on pause and maybe with the magician card, you're replanning is what I'm getting. Replanning, you're trying to kind of re maybe re re strategize here. Um, how you're going to go about this idea that you believe can bring you great success or money or opportunities. Um, you have the three of pentacles that's here. The three of pentacles represents a collaboration, okay? Working together. So I do feel like maybe you, maybe you were, maybe it was an idea that you got or some sort of 
some sort of idea, plan, strategy that you were trying to use to manifest, to bring about maybe success. But the two of wands is in the reverse. You've put that on pause. And I wonder why even here um, you have the hermit. The hermit talks about someone who's like reflecting. Yes, it could be healing and recovery, but it could also be someone who's reflecting, studying, looking into things. So let's look at this two of wands in the reverse. Four of pentacles. I wonder if it's that you're getting cold feet about something um, because you're the magician. When the magician comes out like this, it says, whatever you want, whatever you want, if you're willing to make it happen, it can happen. The magician is a manifester, right? But you have to figure out, I feel like you're trying to figure out, ooh, that's the ambulance. Let's let it pass. So sorry, guys, but those things happen. Um, you're the magician, but I understand if you have to put things on, on hold or on pause to reflect or, or research more, because you may have the tools and resources to get what you want, but you have to understand how, how to use those tools and resources, right? Um, to the best that you can in order to produce what it is that you want. Um, I clarify the two of wands in the reverse and the four of pentacles came out. The four of pentacles could represent having, having an attachment to something. Um, sometimes it can be like a, a stingy or selfish person, but I don't feel like that's what it is. I just feel like you're holding on very tightly, perhaps to your pentacles, um, to your money. Um, the four of pentacles, it could, when it comes to finances, it could talk about financial security. So I want us to look more, clarify this four of pentacles when it comes to the two of wands. Temperance. The two, the temperance represents peace. It's harmony. It's contentment. It's alignment. Romantically, it's my companion card, my companionship card. If you're wondering if you would have enough money to bring this idea to life or to make this investment, that's a yes. The Four of Pentacles is the Four of Pentacles is um it's financial financial security. So that's a yes. Uh Three of Pentacles is in the upright. That's a collaboration. If there are people who you would like to work with, I feel like it would be a good collaboration. It's in the upright. And with hard work and dedication and, and the right planning, this can actually be very successful. I mean, you're the page of pentacles. You do have money. Um, and I feel like maybe you did want, want to invest in something financially, but perhaps with the two of wands here, you're like, hmm. You know, let me let me look into this a little bit more. And and that's it's a good thing to do that, right? To thoroughly think about anything before making investments, especially financial financial investments. I wonder if you were trying to make a financial offer to someone to collaborate with them or if you were trying to pay a team of people to work with you, something around those lines, take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, you're the magician. With, with good planning, it will happen. That collaboration will happen successfully. Even here, the temperance, it's peace. It's peace, it's harmony, it's contentment, and it is alignment. You have a lot of control over this, right? But you have to just know your power. Know that you have, know your abilities and your capabilities. Know the tools, resources, skills, talents, and gifts that you have, right? And how to utilize them to get that desirable outcome. The Six of Pentacles is here, okay? The Six of Pentacles, it talks about equal give and take. 
It talks about reciprocity, right? It talks about sharing, being charitable. It talks about wealth. It talks about abundance. So if you're wondering if you're taking the right steps, I see yes. I see yes. But I feel like right now you're at the two of wands trying to reevaluate, right? Everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't allow any fear to sit in, you know, to the point where you get cold feet and then you don't do what you were initially planning to do. Okay? Think about it, research it, look into it, do your studies, pray about it, and go for it. Okay? Anything else about that? Anything else about this collaboration here? Eight of Cups. Everything is fine. Hmm. I think it's it's it could be a little bit of trauma from the past. Something that happened here from your past where you did make investments. The Eight of Cups, it literally represents uh, investments. Walking away though, walking away from an investment walking away from something or someone, a person, place, or thing that you did invest a lot of your time, your effort, your love, or even your money into, and uh, you had to walk away from it, right? It didn't give you that outcome that you wanted. It didn't give you the results that you were wanting. But I feel like the cards are saying, it's not gonna happen that way this time around. You're not gonna feel betrayed. This is the illustration of the Ten of Swords, but it's not the Ten of Swords. It actually says everything is fine. So you don't have to replay that betrayal or that disappointment. You don't have to keep on replaying it. It's time to actually let it go, right? Take the lessons from it and let it go. But I feel like you're being called to give other people a chance. Um, just because one person disappointed you, disappointed you um, doesn't mean that other people are, are going to do that, right? It's, it's really just about perfect planning, strategizing, figuring, you know, create a plan, pray about it, discern, and go for it. Um, justice, you don't have to worry. The scales are balanced here this time around. The justice talks about balance, fairness, talks about actual justice, talks about getting what you deserve, right? See if we can get any more confirmation for you. <laughs> Look at this. And the Ace of Swords literally represents yes. The Ace of Swords is a yes card. The Ace of Swords, it talks about the truth and clarity, communication, but it also represents new projects, starting new projects, okay? Or new chapters in your life. That's literally what it represents. And it's coming, it's an ace, it's coming, this clarity, this truth, this, this project here, this new project, it's an ace. It's, it's coming out of the helping hands of the Most High. And the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very hardworking, someone who finishes what they start. So I feel like you should go for it. Go for this, this plan, this idea, um, this innovation, this creativity. Go for it. Finish what you started. Don't get cold feet. And um, let me see. Anything else? Yeah, just use your intuition, the moon. The moon calls for us to use our intuition. Anything else about this collaboration in case some of you guys are looking towards working with others? Yeah, look, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles represents balance. Even though it's even though this person's juggling two things, they're still balanced. It's balance, it's stability. When it's in the reverse, that's when we can say, oh, uh oh, it's going to be unbalanced. It's going to lack stability. Anything else about this collaboration for 
the people who look at notice the twos clarify the two of swords hmm. i feel like trust is needed for those of you who will who will be collaborating um with other people it takes two to make a partnership two of pentacles two of swords if there's someone who you will be partnering up with to bring about this idea, this creation, this project, you have to be open-minded as well and realize that they're having to trust you as well. Just like how you're curious about them, you know, you're looking into them, they're also curious about you. It takes two. That's why the Six of Pentacles says it's going to be fair. It's going to be a fair investment. What you put in is what you're going to get out. It's going to be an equal give and take. That's what the Six of Pentacles is. You're just being called to use your intuition. Two of Pentacles, even here with the Two of Swords. I wonder if this is, I wonder if I'm talking to someone who wants a, to, to collaborate with someone. Um... But it's like the both of you don't know each other, so there may be some fears. But you have to understand just like how you don't know them, they don't know you either. <laughs> it takes trust. That's why you need to discern and pray before you start any plan, right? Before you start any project, any creative idea, pray about it, okay? Even here with the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands is someone who is very defensive, traumatized, paranoid. There's nervousness on your end, but I'm pretty sure there's nervousness on the other person's end as well. It takes two to make a partnership, a successful partnership. Look what's on the back of the deck. Four of Wands. If these are new people who you're going to be working with, they're they're getting to know you too. You're you know they don't know you, and they would have to be open to getting to know you too. Just got to be open minded and keep on being prayerful, all right, so that you can be divinely guided, and God will show you. The closer you form a connection to God, if there's anything that's hidden, anything that's bad, God will, God will show you. The Four of Wands it represents redemption. It represents partnerships. It represents commitment, marriage. Sometimes the Four of Wands could even be a victory, a success card, a celebration card. This is going to be a good team or a good partnership. Okay. Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. What is to put it up here? Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. I wonder why the Seven of Swords is here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like... Mm, let me see. Clarify this Queen of... Clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, it is a sneaky card. Three of Cups. Why do I feel like this is another person? I don't feel like this is you. Fire signs. There's another person here who's a Queen of Pentacles. If they're not an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Then... The characteristics of the Queen of Pentacles is typically someone who's in a commitment, 
or they're committed, whether it's to someone, whether they're committed to themselves, whether they're committed to their work, um, to someone who does have a lot of stability and security around them. But this is a third person here, the Three of Cups. This is an outsider. This is like another energy here. The Seven of Swords is someone who's very, the Seven of Swords is like someone who's, who's withholding information, being sneaky, doing something in the dark, not wanting to be seen or caught. The only, the only time I see the Seven of Swords as something positive is like someone who's trying to leave everything behind. Um, I wonder what, what does this person want? Clear for the Seven of Swords. This is another person's energy. The Hangman. It's like there's someone in your blind spot that you're not seeing. The hangman, um, it's all about releasing, letting go, surrendering. I wonder if there's someone who's trying, because the seven of swords, it could be someone who's cheating to win, lying, manipulating, sabotaging, withholding information even. What's going on here, Holy Spirit? Look at me. I mixed up the cards or the deck. Clarify the Seven of Swords. You see, this person is an empress. And the empress is a mature woman. If it's not a woman. It could, be, it could easily be a male. These are energies that any gender can carry. But the empress is typically a mature woman, a, a wife, a mother, um... I get this feeling of what is this person's intentions? Like, what are they doing here with the Seven of Swords? Let me see. The Emperor. This is Five of Cups, bear with me, you guys. Let me look into this. <clears throat> Emperor Five of Cups. What is this Emperor energy? Clarify the Emperor. You see, why do I feel like this is someone who tried to like control? you there was something here where this person i feel like they were trying to sabotage you in the beginning they were trying to sabotage you but like they were in the corner like this person was behind the scenes plotting against you clearly it didn't work <laughs> The King of Pentacles is here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Look at the Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Three of Swords, see? Heartbreak again. Yeah. Someone was trying to like sabotage you, but they were in the background. They were behind the scenes doing this. That's why they're carrying this Seven of Swords energy. But why do I feel like you may not even know this Empress? It's almost like this is like a hater. This is like a hater from a distance who was trying to sabotage you. It's interesting because the King of Pentacles is here. I wonder, King of Pentacles is someone who has ownership of, of something, like a business owner, very successful, lives a materialistic life because he has money. I feel like someone was trying to sabotage you from getting ownership of something. Clarify the King of Pentacles. I wonder if this is like some sort of, hold on, clarify the King of Pentacles. Ooh, it didn't work though. 
Look, Six of Wands, victory, accomplishment. Someone was trying to sabotage you from... You have some sort of position that's coming into your life. You're going to be... You're going to get ownership of something. I don't know if someone's going to be partnering up with you. I don't know if this is a promotion that's going to lead to you having ownership of something. And this person knows it. I wonder if it's because you've already been selected for this position. Or you've already gotten ownership of something, but this person was hoping... And this person knows it. And they were hoping that they could like sabotage you so that you would, you would miss out on this opportunity of owning something here. There's more to this story. You see the three of swords, heartbreak and disappointment. They wanted you to, they wanted you to, um, It's not going to work. Whatever this person was trying to block you from getting, I don't know if you, were you trying to buy something or own something? Someone was trying to sabotage you from that. Or if it's, or if it's an offer, if someone's going to give you some sort of offer or opportunity and you're going to become an owner of something, this empress knows because this looks like this looks like an opportunity that you've been chosen and selected for, but you don't know yet. You don't know yet. And there's an empress who thought that they, who, who knows that you've been chosen and they thought that they could sabotage you. It's like you had a hidden enemy that I feel you haven't met yet, but they know you because you've been selected or chosen for this opportunity. It's interesting, though, because it, it didn't work. You're the king of pentacles in the upright. You're the king of pentacles in the upright. And they, they will, you will meet this person and they will feel so defeated because the person who they try to sabotage is standing right in front of them. You're going to, they know you, but I don't feel like you know them. It could be a situation where, let's say you've been selected for a job and there's a there are people at this job that know you, but you don't know that you've been chosen yet for this job. So you haven't met them yet. Or you've been chosen, you've been selected for something, right? For an opportunity. And the people there know you, but you don't know them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But you don't know them. And the people there are trying someone. I'm not, let me not say the people. There's someone who carries this Empress energy who knows you and was trying to sabotage you and cause you disappointment. But it didn't work I, because I feel like this has already happened and you didn't even know because they were in the shadows trying to sabotage you. They were in the shadows doing something here against you, but I feel like it didn't even work. And what I see is from them fighting with, look, five of wands, they wanted to cause conflict, drama, maybe even competition. Then when you meet them face to face, they're like, hi, how are you? I'm so-and-so. Because <laughs> the Six of Cups is a reunion. The Six of Cups is reconciliation. They will have to see you in person and greet you. And it's going to make them feel defeated because the same person who they try to sabotage is the same person who's standing in front of them shaking their hands. You had an enemy in the shadow who was trying to sabotage you from a new opportunity, from, a, from something new that's going to start in your life. And you are about to meet them and they're going to feel stupid because it didn't work. This person is a three of cups. That's how I knew it was another person's energy and not yours. It's like a third party energy. 
or someone who will be someone who's connected to someone who you know. I further clarified the Seven of Swords situation and the Emperor came out. Five of Cups and Justice. The Emperor is a mature man. Emperor feels really bad. Clarify the Emperor. Maybe there's an Emperor. Emperor is like a mature man, a father, husband type. Clarify the Emperor. Yeah. This emperor, I feel like this emperor was in on it. There are two grown people here who were trying to sabotage you. An empress, a grown woman, and a grown man. It doesn't mean that, they, that they're necessarily together romantically. It could be two like grown, mature people who were trying to <laughs> like sabotage you. I don't know if these two were partners in crime. He feels bad. He's standing. I feel like this is someone who is in on it, whoever this emperor is. The five of cups, look, regrets, crying over spilled milk, but look, justice. He realizes now that he had no right doing something to you or being a part of this. That's my stomach, you guys. <laughs> I just drank so much water. You have the seven of wands. Seven of wands is standing your ground Defending yourself, pleading your case. Something happened here. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Yeah. Knight of Swords. This emperor is now for you. This emperor is now in, in your favor, working in your favor. The Knight of Swords is like the call to action. This is a swift action taker here. Very military-like. I almost feel like this emperor is now quite uh, protective of you and may know what's going on. I don't know if this is someone who the empress paid. Maybe the empress paid this emperor because it's a grown woman, a grown man. I don't know if she paid someone to try to give you a hard time to sabotage you. And it literally goes back. I believe we had this message like last year. We had this message last year, not last year, last month. Excuse me, you guys, my phone keeps on buzzing. We had this message last month where I was like, some of you guys are being watched by good people who have offers for you. And there's enemies in the shadows who are trying to sabotage you. Maybe they're trying to get you out of character so that you'll look bad in front of these people. And I literally even gave like a message. It was in the live stream. I was like, be on your best behavior. Don't let anyone bring you out of character to make you publicly look bad. It's connecting to that. Clarify this emperor. You have the fool and the high priestess. Yeah, this emperor, this emperor snapped back to his senses. The fool is someone who's who's wanting to take a leap of faith into a new beginning. And the high priestess, someone who's very intuitive, wise, and all-knowing, I feel like this emperor kind of found out what he was in on, what he was being asked to do. What happened between this empress and the emperor? Yeah, the tower, the truth came out. Something ended between the two of them. I don't know if this emperor was doing this empress's dirty work but this emperor is like, I'm out. I don't want to be a part of that. I do not want to sabotage this innocent person for you. It has ended. It came crumbling down real quick. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. The devil and his agents are working hard, but God works harder. Yeah, you don't have to worry about this emperor. Look, you guys are partners. The Four of Wands, redemption, partnerships. And I feel like he feels really bad about the hand that he had in this with the Five of Cups. He regrets it. He feels bad. And I almost feel like with the Seven of Wands, he's kind of protective over you now. This is, an, this is like an older man, a mature man or something, maybe a father or a father figure. 
And I almost feel like this may be someone who may, you know, look out for you now. It's like an enemy, an enemy is now for you. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. This man worries a lot with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is like worrying, carrying past baggage, being stressed. And the Four of Swords is like contemplation, anxieties. Hmm. He's worrying because he knows something that you don't know. That you had someone who was trying to sabotage you. And I feel like he was in on it until he kind of saw some truths about it. This could literally be just be someone who was like paid, this empress paid this person or asked this person to do something against you. Ten of Pentacles. Let me see this Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this emperor feels really bad about what he did here. I don't know what this person tried to do, but you, they were trying to sabotage you. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it didn't happen. That justice card is here. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a really big blessing that's coming towards you. Look, the Wheel of Fortune. You have a lot of favor on your side. Favor is on your life. Ten of Pentacles is a very, it's the most rewarding life. It's a life of great rewards, success, money, wealth, security, stability. It represents lump sums of money. It represents generational wealth. The Ace of Pentacles, it's a, it's a divine blessing coming out of the hands of the Most High. The Ace of Pentacles represents, or it, it means prosperity. There, you're about to get some sort of... Um, your prosperity is about to increase. So this could be a financial offer, honestly. This could be, this is success. This is major success that's coming your way. The will of fortune is on your side. You're about to get your fairy tale ending. You will live your fairy tale life. You were born to be the winner. Six of wands victory the enemy can't do anything to you at this point i feel like you're so secure in yourself especially being the queen of pentacles you're very grounded and stable the enemy can't can't cannot make you budge you are so confident and so sure of yourself and i feel like it's because of everything that you went through you took the lessons instead of allowing those past experiences to defeat you you took the lessons with you you're very strong you're the victor. You were born to be the winner. It, it's it's so clear here. Even when people try to go against you, they end up feeling bad and, and siding with you like this emperor here. <laughs> yeah. See, the eight of wands and the page of cups. The eight of wands, it's coming. This emperor, the eight of wands is communication the page of cups if you you if you experience someone who was like mean to you or trying to mess with you or cause you headache and then all of a sudden they they turned out being all of a sudden they started being really nice to you that was them because i feel like this empress was trying to get another person to give you a hard time she was trying to sabotage you and i feel like that person eventually snapped out of it page of cups is an admirer yeah any other messages? This is beautiful, fire signs. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Lots of confirmation here for you. Lots of re, uh, reassurance as well. Everything is well. You have the Ten of Swords. Oops. Clarify. Oops. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Mm. The King of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. What's this about? And the Sun card. Hmm. Yeah, everything is well now. You know, the Ten of Swords, um, it represents betrayals, feeling backstabbed. Um, just, it's one of those cards where it's like, you, you're, you're in so much pain to the point of no return, you know? And, and the King of Swords is here. Um, 
I feel like you've been through so much. It has made you like a giant. <laughs> you're a giant. You're strong. You're stronger than most people. And it's because of everything you went through. But you were able to rationalize your pain and your betrayals, though, because you're the king of swords. And the king of swords has intellectual powers. So this is someone who's highly intelligent and analytical. You were able to sit down and really analyze the betrayals and the pain that you went through. You rationalized it. And you've accepted things for what they are. Um, it caused you to really clean your vision. I feel like you see things very keenly. You see things accurately. And it's hard for anyone to trick or deceive a king of swords. These are highly intelligent people. Very sharp, blunt, and to the point. They don't play games. They don't play around at all. They are extremely discerning people. The, the king of swords will cut out the mess before it even happens. Um... And, um, you know, your king of swords is a professional. This is someone who's highly skilled. You really took your pain and you turned it into power, but you also turned it into purpose. I feel like you, you have become such a well, extremely skilled person. And it's because of everything that you learned from the past, this unpleasant past. Um, and the sun, it's healing. It's healing, it's happiness, it's fulfillment, it's growth, it's expansion. You are so content with your journey. You're content with your past and you're content with your present. And you should be excited about what's to come because it's something really positive. Your blessings are truly flowing into your life. And um, the Nine of Cups, it is fulfillment, it is satisfaction, it is success. You are the star. Your star shines brighter than the other stars. And you and it's because you were able to be self-disciplined and really see what God was trying to teach you through these experiences instead of giving up and allowing these experiences to bring you down, to defeat you. It's like you were a disciplined student the whole time God was teaching you and showing you things and you never complained. And even when you did, you still kept on pushing and learning and so because of that there is divine favor upon your life and um, the star look at this the light your star shines so bright that's why there's always light there's a divine light on you so that people can see you recognize you and choose you the star represents wish fulfillment your dreams are coming to life your wishes are being granted your prayers have been answered you're going through a beautiful transformation New beginnings are coming in. New, I see a lot of newness, whether it's a new job, a new position, new lover, new friends, new location, new home, new car. I see a lot of new things because you've transformed so much. You are literally a brand new person. You are a student who has passed the test. It's almost like you're actually at a teacher's level now, especially being the king of swords. King of swords is the one who instructs people. So it's like a, a, a student who has graduated, okay? Uh, I'm gonna end the reading here, Fire Signs. I really hope that this message resonates with you. Um, take what resonates always, leave what does not discern. Even after receiving this message, I do ask that you go into prayer and meditation so that you can receive divine guidance from the Most High. Um, also, I wanna remind you all, I did start a membership for my supporters to access exclusive readings. Um, it's only $5.99 a month. So you'll be able to access um, all extended readings as well as individual 12 zodiac sign readings. And the information is going to be linked in the description box, okay? So thank you guys so much, Fire Signs, my beautiful, amazing, fiery uh, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel, okay? Um, and if you're interested in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. All my information is, all, is always there. I don't do private readings, um, but there are many ways that you can connect with me. Um, you can submit a prayer a prayer request, which is where you just share with me whatever you feel comfortable with me knowing, and I will keep you in my prayers. Um, there's also a link to make a donation if you do want to support the channel more. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for always tuning in. Thank you for your continued support to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for joining us. 
and um, take care you guys many blessings to you all